What is up guys? It's your girl Caitlin here and welcome back to another Life Talks with Caitlin. And today you guys, today's topic is going to be a rendition of one of my old topics, God on Music. So I'm going to put that video down in the description box below so you guys can go and watch my old video, right? So last night and the other day I was talking with my mom and God was speaking to me through her, right? And we were talking about how on earth it's supposed to be a replica of heaven. And that is in Matthew chapter 6 verse 10. And that's the Lord's Prayer. Or part of it. And Jesus says, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. And what does that look like? What does that mean? So, as Christians, we are always supposed to be worshiping and giving God praise. So, as children of God, when we are worshiping, it should always glorify God and Jesus Christ for who he is and what he's done for us. So every song that we should be singing should always give glory to God and Jesus Christ. And it should never be intertwined with the world. So I have a question. Are we of the world if we sing Christian songs and we turn around and listen to a worldly song that brings us back to our old thoughts and feelings or make us think about old relationships where he brought us from so i need you guys to really think about that so when we become new creatures through christ and old things pass away which is second corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 that is our flesh when we sing about worldly things because i know this word personally convicted me you guys because I know I would love to sing old songs for my old favorite artists all the time. And some are like Lana Del Rey, Mac DeMarco, Kesha, Cigarettes After, Kona Gray, Rex Orange County, The Wallows, my Frank Sinatra, um, my Bean Crosby, The Rat Pack, you know, Nat King Cole, and even my all-time favorite, Blink-182. Sum 41 and Avril Lavigne. And I can go on and on and on about all my favorite artists and all the type of music that I listen to, different music that I listen to. So what God was saying through my mom is if he could get his people to understand whatever is happening in the heavens, the spiritual realm, should be a replica here on earth. So as we are new creatures in Christ, our mindset should be new. The things we talk about should be new. The things we used to drink should be new. And remember guys, this is not condemnation and it's just supposed to shed light to help us become better Christians and to realize if we're doing something, you know, that is not pleasing in God's sight because I know it really convicted me because I was like, wow, God, wow, does that really mean? What does that mean? I was like, does that really mean that we are being lukewarm? And I was like, wow, that does mean that we are being lukewarm. Because we're still intertwining with the world with parts of our lives. And we may not have even realized it. Like, I didn't even realize that that was still intertwining, you know, with the world. Until God shed light on it in my life, personally. And even my mom was like, yeah, me too. Because... My mom was saying that some of her old favorites were Whitney Houston, you know, Lisa Lisa and Colt Jam, and New Edition, Luther Vandross, all of them, you know? But I'm so glad that God shed this light and gave me a better understanding so I can share it with you guys here on Life Talks with Caitlin. So you guys, some more scriptures that I wanted to share with you guys that kind of go along, that was kind of in my old video, that go along with today's video is Ephesians 5 verse 19 and the whole book of Psalms because like I said in my last video that the whole book of Psalms is literally poetry and hymns that um, David and many other people wrote. So those are good examples of what kind of music we should be listening to, you know, today in today's world. All right. All right. Well, guys, I'm so excited. Definitely go watch my old video. Definitely go and 
read those two scriptures, well, that scripture and the book of Psalms, just to get a clear understanding on what I was talking about and even the scriptures that I said throughout the video today. I'm so excited that I could have shared this um, topic with you guys today because I know it shed, shed light in my life and I wanted to share it with you guys too. All right, guys, so let's just close with a little prayer, okay? So, Father God, we just come to you praising you and thanking you, oh God, and worshiping you and telling you how glorious and how good you are to us, oh God. And Father God, we want to thank you for opening up this revelation to us, oh God, in our lives, oh God. And I, we just want to thank you that you have shed the light in our lives, oh God, and that you can continue to help us, oh God, because we know it's not easy, oh God. But help us get through this. Help us take that desire to listen um, to worldly things away from us, oh God, and for us to only be about you, oh God. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. So guys, I love all of you so, so much. You already know this. And I have a crazy, crazy, crazy thing to tell you guys. Crazy surprise. So this quarantine is making your girl do some crazy stuff. And you might not think this is crazy, but it's crazy to me, right? Because I thought I would never do it, right? So in the past, I hated painting like my fingernails and stuff, right? So because I don't know I just it always feels so uncomfortable to me so even when I get them painted I would just go and bite bite the nail polish off I would take it off and stuff so it was just like a waste of money and a waste of time right so I used to bite my nails then so I would bite my nails and stuff and then I stopped biting my nails and those of you who know me now you know that my real nails are like super duper long so like you can tell you can see them like these are my real nails and they're like super duper long you guys see them all the time right so I did something crazy so you know I don't like painting my nails so guess what I did I was in the dollar store and I was like oh my gosh I love this color and I'm gonna paint my nails so I asked my mom you guys to paint my nails and this is what they turned out and they look bomb like they look like acrylics and it's crazy like look at this look at that it's crazy some of my nails are a little uneven because you can tell which hand I write with but look y'all this is absolutely insane I love it and I've been doing really good my fingers do feel a little heavy and feel a little funny but yeah I love it it's so cute and another reason why I didn't want to paint my nails was because I knew that my mom would tell me that it makes our fingernails weak but I was like I tried but she was like I don't know because it just makes her fingernails weak so she was like it might not affect your fingernails so I do use my um, little lotion um, my um, healthy um, hands and nails um, hand lotion I've been using that a lot more since I got this done the other day well yesterday I believe it was yesterday yeah. since I got them done yesterday so I was using them I was using my lotions just so I can keep my um, you know my cuticle and my nails so my nails stay strong and they won't become weak all right guys so that's what I want to tell you guys today I know it's kind of silly but I really wanted to share with you guys because I was like I'm so excited because look how awesome they look they really look like real acrylics you guys and I tried acrylics you guys and I do not like it like me personally like I can't keep that on my nails like so that's why I decided to grow my own nails out and I just stopped biting them I just made that decision it was crazy but so yeah I know it's pretty silly but I love all of you guys so so much thank you for listening to me talk I hope that this um, today's video really helped you guys and I want us to discuss this in the comment section down below the question that I asked you guys I want us to discuss this topic down below because hey we all have our own opinions of what God reveals to us so I want to hear what God is revealing to you guys too and what he's talking to you guys about and how this topic made you feel and you know all of that because I know at first I was like mm. I was like mm. <laughs> but most definitely guys I love all of you so so much I hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you love what you're seeing here if you're loving the live talks with Caitlin show if you're loving my own personal videos that I post so yeah guys and I entered a acting competition um, during quarantine 
it's on Facebook so if you have a Facebook account and you're not already friends with me on Facebook go and um, look in the description box below my Facebook name is on there so you guys can go on there and follow my pages and stuff like that and be connected with me on there but I want you guys to go vote and I posted on my timeline about how to vote I posted a um, screen record of my phone showing you guys how to vote so you would just type in the name of the um, the name of the studio and then you'll go down you scroll to see my name and I need you guys to like and comment on their post with my name and the link on it okay and whoever has the most likes comments and shares on Facebook wins $50 so help me get win, you guys help me win and also go and look at my um the video okay so I thank you guys so so much I hope you have an amazing rest of your week I know I'm talking a lot today <laughs> But I'm just really excited to share. I was really excited to share with you guys. So I thank you all for watching. <sighs> so fun talking to you guys. Well, until we meet again next week or until I post another video. Bye. See you later. I love you 